What's going on everybody? In this episode we're going to talk about logical operators. These are the operators and, or, and not. Now we're going to mainly focus on the or operator in this video, but it's going to be a very similar concept for the others. So let's understand the concept in this one, apply it to our example, and the others will be a piece of cake. But first, thank you to Embarcadero C++ Builder, the sponsor for this series. Check them out if you want to support this channel, or if you want to follow along with this series exactly, then you can get that IDE. I will drop a link down below for the free community edition. So what we have now is you choose a difficulty, easy, medium, or hard. And these all have different cases. Oftentimes, you will want to do something the same for multiple different cases. So let's say easy, medium, and heck, why not hard too? If you choose any of these, the same thing is going to happen. And we'll make a fourth option, difficulty impossible, where something else happens. So as an example of where this might make sense, easy, medium, and hard, you can respawn. You can continue to play the game if you die. But in possible mode, if you die, the game is over, so you have to beat the entire game without dying. So let's talk about how to set this up where we do the same thing for easy, medium, and hard and something different for impossible. We will start by removing these sections. So we just have one section here and it doesn't really matter what the output is here. We just want to say if the difficulty is easy, or if the difficulty is medium, or if the difficulty is hard, then do whatever this is. And we'll just say something like respawning enabled. So to do this, we will use the two pipes. And this is the character right above the enter or return key. And it stands for or. And then you will make another comparison. So difficulty is equal to medium or difficulty is equal to hard. So now all three of these are going to say respawning enabled. Let's just test this out. Do you want to play a game? Yes. Let's play a game then. What difficulty? Medium. Respawning enabled. If we try it again and type something else, Let's say we go with impossible. That's not one of the options, so that is not displayed. If we wanted to do something special for impossible, we can make an else if, and in this scenario, just compare again to check for that value. So if difficulty is impossible, then we can just say something really encouraging like, LOL, good luck. Now, both the easy, medium, and hard section should work as well as impossible. So we can type out impossible and we get LOL, good luck. So for the OR operator to work, let's just kind of break this down. It'll compare and see if this is true. Is difficulty equal to easy? If it's not, it'll check the next one. And it'll keep doing that until it hits a true value. So let's say difficulty is not easy, so that's false. It'll try this one. Difficulty is medium. It will stop the evaluation there or short circuit it and jump right into this section. In order for this section to be hit, any of these can be true. Or all of these can be true. Two out of three can be true. It doesn't matter. In this scenario, it's impossible for multiple of these to be true because difficulty can only be one of those values, but we could put any kind of comparisons in here. It doesn't always have to be using the difficulty variable. So one or more of these expressions have to evaluate to true. The final value will be true or false. That's how the or operator works. Now there's also an and operator. So for example, you could have difficulty is impossible. And let's just make up an example here and you beat the game before and that you could say is equal to true like so or if it's a boolean which we're going to talk about that in more detail in the next video you could just leave it like so so that's the and operator and in this scenario both of these expressions have to evaluate to true so it'll test the first one 
If it evaluates to true, it'll check the next one. If it evaluates to true, it'll check if there's any more. As soon as it hits one that is false, it'll no longer check and it'll short circuit as false. So you can do more researching on short circuiting, but basically it's an optimization. You don't need to keep checking things if you already know if it's true or false. Now I also wanted to show a common mistake. You do not want to do this. It's very easy to do this. I've done this before. So let's remove this here, because since that's not an actual variable, let's just say we wanted to check if difficulty was easy, medium, or hard. You might think to do this. It's easy, or it's medium, or it's hard. Let's try this out. We will run this. Do you want to play a game? Yes. What difficulty? Tacos. And it says respawning enabled. So it evaluated to true even though we didn't use easy, medium, or hard. And that's because this is just a string. It's not comparing it to anything. And a string is going to evaluate to true. So basically you're saying difficulty being equal to true or true or true. And the way the ors work, if any of these are true, the entire thing is going to evaluate to true. So you're basically saying, hey, we always want this to evaluate to true because we put something that always evaluates to true in here. So this is a common mistake that you don't want to make. You always want to make sure you're copying difficulty is equal to for each one of these. Now, another tip that can prevent some bugs is whenever you have the or operators, don't mix those with and operators. It's too confusing to figure out what logic is going on. So just do those in separate sections. So let's go ahead and restore this to what we had before, where we check for all these different values. And we will leave it like this. In the next video, I want to talk a little bit more about Booleans. This is the concept of true and false, but I got a little bit more detail than just, hey, it's true and false. So definitely check out the next video where we can get a little bit more comfortable with true and false. Bye.